welcome to the MSG <laughs> flavoring. Uh, MSG gimmick unit. This is the uh, LED laser sword piece. And yes, they've managed to hide a battery into a single model kit laser sword handle. Uh, this is by Ko Kotobukia. Kotobukia? Kotobukia. Hmm. And uh, yeah, there are three different colored versions. Um, so let's put this down. You got the well, obviously the, the red one. You got the red one there. Uh, there's there's blue. Oops, cards are stuck in my hand. Uh, blue and green. And they're all the same thing, just with different, just with a different color LED and different color plastic in there. Um, let's focus in there. You can see what you get. Uh, you get uh, the the light, the battery thing, some hands. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight laser sword pieces of plastic, two transpa uh, four transparent, four green, and four of them are s have a matte finish, and four of them have a shiny finish. And here gives you basic instruction on how to activate this. Each of these are like a 99 Hong Kong dollars each, so uh, they're not that expensive, but they're not that cheap either. Uh, and yeah, all of them have the exact same instruction sheets because they're the exact same thing, just different colors. So, do 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 do, and blah 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 blah. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, we get these extra hands here that are perfect for holding these laser swords, but I think they're for a bigger, slightly bigger scale uh, Gundam or model kit figure. So, you got the straight cut pegs on the back, uh, pretty much just uh, a pair of hands for each one of these. So. Uh, I got one color each, so I got six of these hands. Three left, three right hands. Uh, there's they also come with these little pegs here, which um, fit on top of this gray piece here, which are attached to all of these laser hilts. Um, and they sort of just plug in. They got a little hole on them, but I guess the point of these is to make it look like the swords off and still look realistic and not have a giant, you know, gap hole in there. And then we've got these. Uh, like I said, there's Half of these are matte, half of these are shiny. So I'm just going to get all the transparent ones out of the way. Because you get one full set of transparent ones, which is the identical mold to all of the other ones. So, just to get those out of the way. Transparent. Transparent. And, uh... <laughs> so they got already quite, quite colourful, not even light them up yet. I haven't, I haven't even lit them up yet, so I got grammar and stuff. Uh, so yeah, you get uh, one of these in shiny, which is more of a Gundam style because it's got like a little energy, f like a little teardrop shape at the end of it and pointy. In fact, you would have seen me using a transparent one of these in uh, my bootleg videos. I've been using it to point at small details without getting my fingers in the way. And you have one version that's in matte. So uh, the effects of these, honestly, they don't really matter to me that much at all because... Um, you know, I, I tend to edit the photos afterwards and add laser to it anyway. So either way, the green light or whatever light will shine through these blades and I get the light effect that I want. So, and when I edit it in, in Photoshop and add a center glow to them, I don't need to be aware of this shiny and matte. And the only thing really difference is, is that um, if I plug the matte green into a, into the blue LED light, it would seem it will hide more blue than the shiny one. So, um, because I don't have two greens or two blues or two reds, and I want both sorts to light up, I, I would stick the matte colored one onto uh, the the wrong colored LED blade to try and hide the color. Uh, you get two of these straight cut ones, which are more reminiscent to Star Wars lightsabers. Yes, they are straight cuts, but uh, when it's glowing and stuff, it, it looks round anyway. So. Yeah, one, again, one is matte and one is shiny, and they just, they're just they just straight cuts. So the same with the red ones. And now for the little LED blades them, <laughs> hilts themselves. Uh, they are single... Let me just see if I can remove this plastic piece on top. Okay, here we are. It is a tiny, tiny little metal piece, and all the circuitry, the LED and everything, are hidden inside this metal piece. And the way you activate it is just push it down. And look, that's really bright. And I have no idea how long this is supposed to last. Supposed to be something like 10 hours or something. Um, and of course, you know, you're not going to have it on all the time. So it should last a while. But there's an, an, no way to replace the batteries. And if it runs out, you just have to get a new one. And so I guess they can sell an infinite amount of these. Uh, previously, I did see another 
brand of these, and I think there was batteries, but, um, you know, the batteries weren't cheap, and you had to rebuy the batteries a lot, so, um, that's an alternative, I guess, but uh, this whole thing feels pretty solid, I mean, it is metal. It doesn't feel like the stuff inside, feels like this is just a metal bar, like, it, it is, as it is, just a solid piece. And you can see these grey pieces, um, they go underneath, you, s you slide that upwards. Because there's a, there's a little ridge inside this that helps you uh, turn this on, for example, uh, and, and turn it off. So I'm going to push this down to turn it on, and if I pulled on this plastic bit, just pull it up, I can turn it off easily. It's a little, a little peg thing. And um, yeah, having these transparent ones as well as the color ones, again, not too much difference in terms of how the color comes out. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to... I'm going to go with green, because I've been playing around with the red one a little bit, so I'm going to save that power and go with green. So which one's green? This one's green. So, uh, I'm going to put a matte finish one in here, and you can see, okay, I'm going to see that that looks perfectly green, right? That's fine. Uh, if I get the matte transparent one, and look at that. I guess the green is traveling a bit further down because it's clear plastic. I'm going to turn that light off now. Hmm. Oh, whoops. So I only have one light left on. You see, it still looks pretty good. This looks more like a non light, non Star Wars y lightsaber. So if I get, let me get the shiny piece. It doesn't shiny one. Now, this really looks like a lightsaber now. I'm not even editing. Uh, I don't have to edit the video or anything to make it look like an actual laser. So, so. I'm gonna turn the lights off then. Ooh, now that's that's pretty much a lightsaber. -y. So that that looks good. So uh, let's see the blue one. Was it the red one? Okay, red, 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 red. Let's get the red, red transparent bar in there. Oh, come on, plug in. Here's the red one. Uh, not quite as strong as green because that that tends to be the case anyway. With uh, red LEDs, it tends to be the weaker one. So I've got the blue one now. Let's see. Um, uh, let's get a, another flat one. Flat bar here. Plug that in. And we have blue, which also looks really good. So. Ooh. Yeah, it's really. These look good, especially at this scale. Um, you'll see some photos in a moment, uh, you, uh, tested these with like my Gundam, a few Gundam models, because, yeah. Uh, these look great, in the dark, they look pretty spot on. Um, eventually, uh, when I do more Star Wars figures and stuff, I'll use these as well for the photos. And they'll look pretty cool, I, I imagine. Um, I do have Mace Windu, but I don't have any uh, blue, or any purple lightsabers, so... Uh, if I were to turn the green one off, and so blue mix red is purple. So, uh, let's see. That one's, um, I'm going gonna, gonna to put some lights back on. So I'm going to swap these around. The blue, I'm going to put the blue matte on the red. And I'm going to put the matte red on the blue. And turn the lights off. Yeah, the red one's just not shining through, but the blue one doesn't turn purple either, so that's, oh, well, that's a shame. Um, that's definitely a shame, so I'm going to take the red one off, I'm going to take the blue one off, I'm going to take the, turn the red one off. Let's see what happens if I mix uh, green with blue, because, uh, you know, those colors do cross over a little bit. You know, green is blue mixed yellow, so... Uh, I should still get some sort of light out of it. Blue and mix with green. Green light, blue blade. Alright, let's turn the lights back off and see. Oh, we've got some sort of uh, pretty cool two tone effect going on. So uh, that's nice at least. At least both of these swords still could look like they're you know, meant to come together. So, yeah, um, if you like having light up toys and for photography or whatnot obviously you cannot have these on long display because the battery's going to run out and then you're going to be left with just a pointless laser sword i mean you know these plastic laser swords are still useful uh, up to a certain point for posing and stuff they're still going to be lightsabers but um 
If you're only getting this purely for the lights, do not get it for display purposes, it's completely pointless. For display purposes, I think there are some wired ones out there that you can just plug into a USB or something. Uh, but I'm not sure. In fact, I reviewed um, some light-up blocks made for LEGO that um, plug into USB, so those can last forever. So you can probably just get that and you know, alter it a little bit. Uh, but these, these are for just quick plays and movies and photography, as long as they last, as long as they light up. And for the price they're going for, yeah, you definitely don't want to keep buy one of these every day. You want to display it and light it up, so yeah. Still, they are pretty good, and um, they feel very complete for what you get. I do wish one pack would have two swords instead of just one LED source. Uh, but they do give you all lots of different shapes and shadings that you might consider with a laser sword toy or model kit. So they are pretty decent. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. Of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye-bye.